<laughs> That's from one of the most enjoyable movies to watch over and over and over again. 2008 Step Brothers, uh, Will Ferrell, and our next guest who's here with us today. But I don't even want to shortchange his intro. DB, I'm going to let you jump on on it. Go ahead, go ahead, man. <laughs> what you just heard was a movie that became an instant cult classic. I mean, our guest it starred with Will Ferrell. Ten years ago in Step Brothers, which, I mean, if you haven't seen it, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. you watch the movie, <laughs> and not only that, watch the bloopers. The behind-the-scenes yeah. stuff that didn't make it in the film is equally as funny. Also, I mean, this guy's been doing movies since 1989 with Casualties of War, mm -hmm. Sean Penn and Michael J. Fox. He did Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise and Robert Duvall. He's worked with Brian De Palma, Martin Scorsese. I mean, he did What's Eating Gilbert Grape with Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and In one year, he starred in three films that were nominated for Best Picture. He starred in five Best Picture nominated films altogether. Uh -huh. I mean, this guy's been nominated for an Academy Award, a oh, Golden Globe. Tony. A Tony, and even a Grammy Award. Whoa! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the one and only... John C. Riley! Good yes, morning! Wow, what an intro. What an intro. Yes, man. You, you know, know, of all those things, that Grammy medallion is the coolest thing I have. Uh -huh. I got nominated. I didn't win, but when you get nominated, you get this medallion. So I'm friends with Mike D from the Beastie Boys, and he's like, we should get together and have a medallion party where we all wear our nominee medallions. Yeah. Our almost wins. Doesn't that mean every time you're introduced, like in a formal setting, they, they say what you've been nominated for, like Grammy nominated, Golden yeah. Globe nominated? and it's nominated. just a reminder that you didn't win. No, yeah. <laughs> but I, I can't imagine that growing up that you ever thought that you would have these kind of things before your name. No, growing up, I grew up on the south side of Chicago, and I didn't even imagine imagine that I could make a living as an actor uh -huh. you know I, I had no one in my life that was anywhere near show business so uh it's, it's incredible what I've been able to do the places I've been the people I've met uh and the money I've made the money you made baby the there you go I've made. <laughs> John C. Riley, man what do you like spending your money on the most uh, hats. Okay. Yeah, hats. <laughs> hats. <laughs> hats and shoes. I have a big head and big feet, so I was very deprived as a kid yeah. for hats and shoes. So uh -huh. once I got some money, I was like, I'm going to have every damn pair of shoes I want. Right. Well, you're showing off right now. That, Look hat, at that hat It looks fly. nice, man. Well, I try to make it an occasion, dress uh -huh. up nice, make the world a more beautiful place. <laughs> It <laughs> shows people that you that you find their you know our time is valuable together. So I prepared for it this morning. I appreciate that, man. All right, yeah. John C. Riley. What so you grew up on the south side of Chicago? I grew up watching Good Times. Uh -huh. uh, you, you ever used to watch that? Oh, Norman, sure. Norman Lear uh, uh, series, and they talked about Cabrini Greens, the project. Area. Did you grow, grow up in that area? Or? I did not grow up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you grew up in the I projects. Know, I, know, I, <laughs> I said no, I did not. <laughs> but I know Cabrini Green very well. Actually, okay. they tore it down because the real estate t finally became uh, so valuable that they were like, "Yeah, let's move the poor people elsewhere." Uh -huh. um, but my brother was a firefighter, and his fire station was across the street. From Cabrini Green. Wow! So I used to go and visit him there, and um, yeah, it was that was a pretty intense little neighborhood. That one. Did he used to bring home stories of what he saw? Or? Well, they used to have to. I mean, it was an intense neighborhood. On the Fourth of July, people couldn't afford fireworks, so they would just light the buildings on fire. Okay. And my brother, <laughs> <Jesus Christ>. my, <laughs> what the hell? My brother would just ride back and forth in his truck, like on Division Street, just putting out fires all night long on, on Fourth of July. But um, you know. Uh, <laughs> Chicago's an intense place. Yeah. It's still an intense place today, and I'm hoping that we can make some movement on, on fixing some of the things there because it's just it's not cool what's happening in Chicago. It's not cool, right? Yeah, today we, we have a lot of the artists that come up here, Lil Bibby, uh, Vic Mensa. G Herbal. You know, yeah. and, and they tell their stories through their music, and when you hear these songs, you go, man, this couldn't possibly be true. Mm -hmm. But when you go to Chicago, you find out, damn, that's right on point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a very divided place, too, and yeah. de depending on where you are, you could think like, oh, no, everything's just the same as it ever was, just mm -hmm. good old Chicago. And then other neighborhoods are struggling so much, but they're not, you know, they don't have the spotlight on them until someone gets killed. And, yeah, anyway, yeah, I thought I was here to talk about a cartoon. You, you, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you, you took it to murder, John. I didn't well, know Well, you know, we talk about Chicago. we got to keep it real. Okay. we got to keep it real. Now, the cartoon, the animation he's talking about is Ralph Breaks the Internet, uh, which is out November 21st. Yeah, Thanksgiving weekend. Thanksgiving weekend. That's the that that's like that's the, the money that's weekend. the that's the weekend, right? You could 
you know, you can make or break a film studio on Thanksgiving <laughs> weekend, true? Well, I think this movie's tracking very well. Like, mm-hmm. people are really loving it. And mm-hmm. uh, so I think it's going to do well. People who have seen it like it even better than the first movie, okay. which was a big hit itself. So I'm really excited to show it to people. It's about best friends. It's about best friends. Sarah yeah. Silverman is in it. We had her on the show uh, okay. last week. Uh, Taraji P. Henson is in it as well. What, exactly. what, what's the premise? Break it down for us. Well, in the original movie, we, we live in this arcade and we go we visit a couple of other video games within the arcade and then in this arcade in our new movie they install a wi-fi router mm-hmm. so me and vanellope sarah's character go into the internet and as you can imagine ralph uh ralph breaks the internet he breaks most things that he gets involved with so uh-huh. um yeah we go in there trying to save her game she needs a piece for her game her the steering wheel of her game breaks and so we have to figure out as video game characters how to get something in the real world to the arcade and uh, we do it through eBay and, um, well, you'll see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 All right. I like that. Is there, it's, is a, there, it's quite an adventure. Is there an overarching, like, takeaway? You know, a lot of those animations as kids, you want them to take away what the moral of the story is. That's what it is. Yeah. Like. Well, well, I think we're very real about what the internet is is i mean as as real as you can be on, in a kids movie uh <laughs> there's a lot of dark stuff on the internet that we don't go into but there's some real stuff on the internet mm-hmm. that we do go into which is like you know anonymous hateful comments and people bullying you online that kind of thing we're very real about that for kids and we're also very real about um friendship and what it means like when you're when you grow up with someone like whether it's moving on from grade school to high school or high school to college or just moving out into the world away from your neighborhood like someone that you're really close to sometimes you just naturally grow in Mm. opposite directions and how do you deal with that how do you be a good friend even when you see your friend needs to spend time away from you Mm. so uh there's some really intense little emotional moments between sarah and i we have a really cool little friendship in it so People are really flipping out for it, like yeah. a lot of a lot of laughter and a lot of tears. Tears in the movie. Yeah. Okay, damn shit. Okay, we gonna cry? Well, <laughs> no, no, you're not gonna cry. Don't okay. worry. Oh, okay, you okay. probably won't cry. Okay, okay, you okay. probably won't. Okay, okay. All right, John C. <laughs> Riley is here. Someone told me you can't sell a movie by saying people will cry because then they don't want to go because people naturally don't want to cry. But it is a really emotionally <laughs> real, real movie, and uh, it's the animation is really it's incredible. Okay. They, they move the, the the ball down the field a little bit in this in terms of CGI. Like, mm. there's this. My character becomes this like. Uh, uh, King Kong version of himself, mm. <laughs> and he's animated. There's 300,000 little Ralphs that make up the King Kong Ralph. So anyway, <laughs> wow. they, they did some pretty impressive stuff, uh, you know, technically in it. John, I'm always fascinated by the the production of an animated film because you play Wreck-It Ralph, Sarah Silverman plays Vanellope, and so you were talking before we went up about how you guys interacted in the studio recording your vocals as opposed to just doing each piece one, uh, one-on-one. So if you come up with a segment where you feel like something is funny on an improv, does it make it hard for them to have to go back and try to fit that in with the animation, or is it now a little easier? No, well, we're always ahead of the animation, so they're they're always, um, you know, we're kind of always waiting for the animators to catch up because we we can record four hours of material in in one day, and then you know it takes a long time to animate four hours of material. So no, actually, the animators love it when we improvise because of that it, it it adds. Uh, I don't know, just adds detail and unexpected kind of more human-like stuff to the movie as opposed to just what's written, you know. Uh, it is a very deliberate process where they got to really plan for what, you know, what the script says. But, uh, you know, we get me and Sarah in a room together goofing yeah. off. You're, you're definitely going to get some improvisation. So um, that it just makes the movie richer. Yeah. Taraji plays a character called Yes... Yeah. Am I saying it correctly? Yes. I can only imagine you. Uh, it's yes with three S's. With three S's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was it like be bouncing off with Taraji? Uh, she was really cool. I, I don't have a ton of stuff with her, but she comes in. She's like the kind of um, the boss of this uh, website that's that puts out viral videos. Uh-huh. It's called BuzzTube in our movie. It's kind of a combination between, I don't know, Buzzaholic and YouTube or whatever. Um, so, yeah, she's this sort of wisecracking, like all-knowing uh, queen of the internet, uh-huh. and uh, Taraji was really funny. She came in, she was making all kinds of foot jokes actually when, when she came in. <laughs> foot jokes about your big feet, yeah. Ralph's big feet, his toes, and I don't know, like, uh, yeah. She, she <laughs> I think she found Ralph's feet kind of disgusting, which I can't blame her. I can't blame her. 
All right, John C. Riley is here, man. Ralph Breaks the Internet. It's on it's in theaters um, November 21st. We're going to open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. You want to talk to him, call us. Say, say. Dedicate this to Chicago. All right. Yeah. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Shout out to Common. Shout out to Yay. Chicago is up in here. Yeah. Shout out to John C. Riley. Sway the morning, shade 4 5. Ralph Breaks the Internet, November 21st. Yo, John C. Riley, you got some bars, man? John. Oh, well, you know, I was a big fan of Sugar Hill Gang when I was a kid. Okay, hey. well, never mind some of that. People here at this party. Now, all young ladies, just shake your bodies. Body. All young men, enemy or friend. Well, if you heard me once, brother, I'm back again. Yeah, I'm on the scene, and I wasn't sent. And I'm not alone. I'm with the president. This a president's hip and oh, so funky. I'll make you move like a disco. Monkey, you shiver, shake, and your back might break. But do it anyhow, see what you can take. So, uh, keep freaking while I'm a speaking. Dance, young ladies, till your knees start to weaken. Cause I got the style, the class to go with. I'm numero uno, and don't you forget it. I could dance all night just to keep in step. And if enough people watch, you might gain a rep. So, do it. Said, do it. Said, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. Bar. We got a hyena. Southside. John C. Riley is here. 888-742-3345. You want to call him? Uh, you want to talk to him? Call us. We talk about Ralph Breaks the Internet. This is the leaf blower guy? So? His video has 1.3 million watts. Well, <laughs> why didn't you tell me I was in the presence of a genius? Yeah, this lady named Shank, she actually made the video. She's the one who told us to come see you. No wonder your video is so dope. Shank is for real cool, right? <sighs> she is not. I'm the cool one getting all the hearts. Um, what did you say your name was? Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph. Well, Wreck-It Ralph, you are trending. And these are for you. Heart. Heart, 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 Yo, the man that just busted them bars. We just can't let him go by. He just busted bars on Sway in the morning. I love it. Even John C. Riley bust bars. I just love the fact that he said, is this the place where people freestyle? Yeah. He didn't say that, right? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen some of those videos. You saw a lot. Oh, he's a citizen. Little Dicky. Little Dicky did an amazing one. Yes. Yes, yes. That thing got about 15 yeah. million views. I on think it. it has the most yeah. views. Dickie still. is the highest. Yeah. yeah. What was your introduction? I'm not sure that was a freestyle, what he did. <laughs> no, but no, 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 no. Oh, they'd be fronting, John. They'd be lying. He was slightly memorized, but yeah. impressive nonetheless. Yeah. Nonetheless, right? I Mine was also memorized. I didn't freestyle that guy. <laughs> 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 I thought you freestyled. It was a little slow, actually. The beat was a little slow. It made me sound like like an old dad doing rap, but that's cool. That's cool. That's DJ Wonders for. Besides that, the song that you spit the bars for, what was your introduction to hip hop? You know, um, it was the Sugar Hill Gang. Mm-hmm. It was all those records, Spoonie's back, and you know, Ooh, all of it. Spoonie like, G. Oh yeah, wow. Spoonie G. Like I, I literally took those records, and and record. I made. I would take my little video um, cassette recorder. Mm-hmm. And play the record and record it with my cassette recorder so I could stop it and write down the lyrics. And I wrote down the entire record of lyrics. Wow. Now, I was a dedicated wow. hip hop fan when I was a kid. And, and t- to this day. Who you listen to now? Uh, well, you know, Kendrick is like on top mm-hmm. of the mountain, isn't mm-hmm. he? Yeah. Well, <laughs> pretty much. Nobody's yeah, yeah. higher. I'll, yeah. I'll say that much. Yeah. So, Kendrick Lamar. You- yeah, I'm friends with all. I was on the ASAP Mob record, you guys. That's Come on. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I know that we didn't know if you just got hired to do it or, you know. Or, no, 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 I'm friends with Rocky and all those guys. So How you yeah. become friends with Rocky? Like, uh, I was actually randomly, this friend of mine named Tick, who used to work with Mike D, was works for Red Bull now. Uh-huh. And I was in London at a restaurant, and, and I saw Tick, and he's like, hey, you want to meet ASAP Rocky? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, come on with me to the studio. And it just so happened that they had this Red Bull studio in London, and uh-huh. ASAP was there, and you know Rocky was there, and uh, yeah. And then they were like, <laughs> I was just goofing around. I was like, hey, if you ever need anyone to do any like comedy bits on your record, I'll do it. And like two weeks later, they're like, you ready, John? And so I made actually made those recordings on my phone uh-huh. while I was off doing a movie and sent them in. But. Lamborghini High students, there you faculty, go. and staff, welcome back, returning students, and welcome, new students. 
This is Principal Daryl Chode, and these are the announcements for today, our first school day. Yo, John C. Riley is officially hip hop. Yeah, that's what Principal yeah. Daryl Chode. I thought I was going to get an ASAP name out of it, but uh-huh. they, you know, those you have to really earn those. I said I want to be ASAP Fun Dad, and they were like, nah, <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> ASAP Fun, fun Dad. dad. Hey, you, you, today you're ASAP Fun yeah, Dad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank Shel- you. Shelvin's thank in you. Utah. Say hello to ASAP Shelvin, what's Fun poppin'? Dad. What up, Shelvin? Shelvin, can you hear me? Shelvin, you there? <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead. Man. How's it going? Spit some questions. <laughs> All right. So, uh, love your radio show, John C. Riley. You're you're one of my biggest. Uh, Idols, I gotta say, love your movies. Um, I know that sounds kind of corny. Anyways, no. uh, so I'm actually just curious when you're gonna drop another Dr. Steve Brule uh, season. Uh, I'm not sure what Steve's plans are, but I'll I'll pass along your your well wishes and that you want another show. I'm an executive producer on that show, but uh, Steve's kind of hard to get a hold of. Actually, He's, him and Denny are somewhere in the inland inland empire in California. The I.E. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Hey, but t- okay. <laughs> but totally unsatisfying <laughs> answer. Okay. <laughs> hey, but go see the movie Ralph, Ralph breaks the internet. You gonna check that out, Shelby? Was- yes, sir. I'm done. I- have a good day, guys. All right. Damn, man. You just pissed. <laughs> oh, he's so mad at you, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> like you just pissed Shelby off. Have a good day. <laughs> yeah, you have a good day too. <laughs> Wow. All. all right, hold on. We're going to do better. We're gonna, let's take it up to Winnipeg. Oh we got God. Dan on the line from Winnipeg. Dan, what's, what's up, Dan? Danny boy. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Your call is hey, definitely going to be better than the last one because it can't get any worse. Oh, uh, oh 100%. I, I, uh, first of all, I just wanted to, I feel like I should be calling you Sir John Riley. Oh. I don't know. It just, you have that. Like you have Sir that Duke? Persona. One of my favorite Stevie exactly. Wonder songs, Sir Duke. Mm. There fact, you go. I just did a movie no, I, recently I where I listened to that song every single day in the car on the way into the studio. Uh-huh. Sir Duke was like my hype up music for Stan and Ollie, that movie I, okay. I yeah. just made. But anyway, sorry, Dan. What's your question? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good to know. That's okay. Hogging your airtime. <laughs> that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking with my, my favorite people. I listen to Shade every morning. Oh, that's my all guy. right. That's what's up, Daniel Citizen. Um, Sweet morning. Yeah, right? Thank you, guys. Uh, listen, I could ask you a million questions, but I got. Uh, first of all, I will be going to uh, see the movie with my kids. 100%. Awesome. They're, awesome. They're, they're super excited for it. But, uh, Is there a wake and bake scenario step- going on right now <laughs> <laughs> in your world? Because it's taking a little while to get to the question, but that's cool. That's you, know, cool. you know I'm from, I'm from Canada, so lead, weed is legal. Ah, legal okay. Now, right? There you go. Uh, hey, but uh, take it back to Step Brothers. Mm-hmm. I want to know... Who decided to write that line when your co or your co star? You know, I wrote said, some raps. Gonna roll you up in a ball. Oh yeah, huh? I want to roll you up in a little ball and put you inside my yes. vagina. That one. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think that was just in the yes. script. I think Adam McKay wrote that line, but you just reminded really? me that I also wrote some some serious raps for that. Yes. Some bars. I get a, get a, spit get a, bars get a in. Beat. Get a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get a heartbeat. The Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. I'll do you in the bottom while you're drinking sangria. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> I wrote that. You wrote that? Yes. I wrote a number of those lines in that song, too. <laughs> you should be recognized for that. Nachos, lemon heads, my dad's boat. You won't go down because my D can float. Oh. I also wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan, are you impressed? Dan, are you impressed? <laughs> Oh, I was impressed by the freestyle that was written earlier there. Early. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. All right. Hey, Dan, have a beautiful day, man. Yeah, have a great Thanksgiving, <laughs> yeah. too. See you in the movies. Okay. Hey, hey John. Hey, man, it was an absolute pleasure to have you on the show this morning, man. That's it. Two questions and I'm out. Uh, <laughs> nothing else to say. No, no. Well, hold up. Hold up, man. Hold up. Hold up. We got, got a ton got of questions. Okay. Of <laughs> Angel is in California. Hi, Go Angel. ahead, Angel. Angel. <laughs> What's hey, up, what's Angel? Up? Is, oh my gosh, good morning. This is so cool. Hi. <laughs> it's John C. Riley. John C. Riley, I cannot wait to see the movie. It's going to be so cool. The first one was awesome. I love all your movies Guardians, Step Brothers, you name it. Cool, You're thank you. <laughs> you are an angel, aren't you? <laughs> A real angel. <laughs> oh, also, uh, my cousin Lauren, like, Low key calls you her man crush, so shout Aww. out to that. Lauren, you don't have to be low key. You can be high key about your crush on me. <laughs> <laughs> and, also, 
I wanted to know, are you doing any stand-up um, anytime soon? Comedy store? like. Uh, I've never done stand-up, but you know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to go do that. Comedy store? Is that where they sell comedy? I'm going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Angel, thanks for your call. You're a citizen. Sway in the morning. Okay, John, so that guy right there, he has to take you to the next interview. All right, and it won't you be, guys. You won't have as much fun as you had here. I guarantee you that. No. All right, but John C. Riley, thanks for coming by. Bro. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Pleasure to be here. Right. Right. Ralph, Ralph breaks the internet November 21st. Make sure you check it out.